I think we got it. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to, uh, we're going to call this one the Baloo Boom Room on the road. I'm actually at work today. I'm at the studio, and I'm going to get run out of here in 19 minutes. But I want to take that 19 minutes and visit with my best friend in the whole wide world, Mr. Hayes Carl. Hello, Mr. Hayes Carl. Hey, Rita. How are you? Good. Now, where are you? You're in, like, Vermont or something, right? <laughs> Very close. I'm in uh, Ames, Iowa, and uh, Iowa State University. I don't think I could even pick out Iowa on a map. Like, I'm really bad with geography, but uh, it sounds exciting. It sounds interesting. Uh, it's not, but uh, but I'm making the best of it. No, uh, no crazy things happening. Like the border patrol isn't running you out of Vermont or Iowa or anything. No interesting <laughs> stories this this no, trip. No, it's pretty low key. We went to a, went to a laundromat this morning, and, and that was about the highlight of my day so far. That's Pretty good. Rock That's good. Well, we um, are going to see each other this weekend. We're having a rendezvous. Did you know that? Hello? Did I lose you? Uh, I didn't, but I like the sound of it. <laughs> no, you're going to be playing at the Grit and Groove at Ray Valley Grit and Groove. I didn't know it. But this weekend and uh, yeah, I have a couple questions I wanted to ask a lot of people put it up on Twitter I'm like hey y'all I'm gonna talk to Hayes Carl you have any questions and I got a couple you wanna you wanna hear them sure <laughs> are you there I think there's a delay but uh, the first question yeah. is this is from Matt Kimbrough from the Matt Kimbrough band and Matt wants to know do you write your song okay. sober or under the influence I uh, would cut out there for a second, but do, I think the question was, do I write my song sober or uh, not sober? Yes, um, that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit of everything. Uh, most of the time, I'm, I'm, uh, I got my head on straight when I'm, when I'm writing. You know, I, I jot down a lot of ideas on napkins and bars um, late at night, but uh, usually the next day is when I, uh, uh, when I have a clear head, I start. Uh, putting them together, piecing them together into songs. The next question is from Ask Mother Hubbard. She wants to know if you think Ray Wiley Hubbard's wife is hot. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no I, I figured you'd better say that. But uh, my question is, um, writing with Ray, is that, um, are you ever like, okay, I got this, I got this, Ray, calm down, or is it, how, who leads? It's the, the songwriting. I'm just curious. I want to be on fly on the wall whenever y'all sit together and come up with, you know, masterpieces and crap. Uh, um, yeah, well, and, and it's been different the, the couple times we've written together. Um, the first time we ever got together, he, he kind of took the lead and, and came up with most of it, and I just, you know, nodded and uh, put my name on the end of it. Um, but uh, the for, uh, like, Drunken Poets Dream, you know, I had one line that had been kicking around my head for a while, and I played it for him, and I kind of told him what type of song I was looking for, and and then he came up with the next line, and we just kind of went back and forth, and and uh, uh, and then actually you got about half the song done and split up and and went our separate ways, and he kind of finished it up on his time, uh, his version, and I finished one up on my side, and and. Uh, so that was interesting. We have we have two sort of different songs of the same, but uh, we, we kind of uh, finished them up in our own way. I um I know that I am looking forward to going out to the grit and groove. We're going to do this all again, so I'm going to make you sit here and answer my silly questions one more time. But we were talking before we went online about the new Uncle Lucius video and how we both enjoyed it, and uh, you know, the, keep the wolves away, and what a great yeah. song it is and great video. They're going to be out there as well at the grit and groove. So, yeah. um, could you maybe introduce me? We can all hang out and be friends. Oh, you don't know Uncle Lucius? I kind of do, but like, I mean, I know that there's not just a uncle. Like, that's the name of the band. Uh, like, Reckless Kelly isn't a regular person; <laughs> it's a band. But like, I don't hang. You know me. I'm not. I'm not cool enough to hang. But yeah. uh, I can always hang when I'm with Hayes Carl. So we're gonna make that happen. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'll. I'll. Uh, I'll get y'all together. <laughs> I, had a, I, had a, I had a friend the other day who asked uh, why someone would name their band Uncle Luscious. Oh, and nice. I had to explain that I don't think that's how it was pronounced. But, you know, at um, least you remember the name. It's not like the Hayes Carl band. Right. 
that you just at misspell least, at least or different. rearrange endlessly. Well, we were talking about, you know, you have a video that you've shot, right, for uh, Bible on the Dash, and you are bringing back the sweater, correct? The red sweater that almost made it to Letterman? Yeah, yeah, they're, uh, um, yeah, I, I wear my, my semi-iconic uh, American sweater that was on the cover of my K-Mag Yo-Yo uh, record. And uh, this is probably be the last time that, uh, that it sees the light of day until the Smithsonian calls and asks for it. Right? Well, tell, then we'll, well, you tell we'll the story real quickly about, uh, right, you know. about how, um, <laughs> how John Evans was going to wear it, but uh, they said no. Um, but yeah, we we I use it in this uh, Corblon video. Oh gosh, my thing broke. Are you there? Did Hayes Carl go away? Come back. I think I lost him. Come back, Hayes. Well, well, we tried. That was fun. Sorry. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get him back. But if not, don't worry about it because um, I'm definitely going to interview him on Saturday at the Grit and Groove, uh, Ray Wally Hubbard's big festival. It's going to be a great time. Um, great lineup. Lots and lots of fun. So um, thank y'all for for giving me this whole 12 minutes, and uh, we'll catch up with him next time. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, he's back. There he is. Are you back? I'm so confused at what's going on. Hey. Technical difficulties. I lost you. Yeah, I'm not you. sure. I, I, I saw you and heard you that whole time, but, uh, oh, but, great. but I guess I wasn't coming through. But, yeah, I'm here. Oh. Well, I'm here. We'll, uh, we'll so anyway, we're, talking about, we're talking about the sweater and how I wanted you to share the quick story about how uh, John Evans was going to wear it right. on Letterman and they wouldn't let him or on The Tonight Show. Yeah, so we, we did the rehearsal. Uh, uh, kind of uh, run through, and the producer of the Tonight Show came out and said everything looks great. Um, there's just one problem: that guy can't wear that sweater. John had it on, and, and you know he's six foot six, and and then has the big hair, and you know it's pretty striking presence already. And they had him standing on a platform, and uh, I got I got upset. I said, no, you know we're gonna wear whatever we want to wear. You know you're not gonna tell us we're artists. You're not gonna tell us what to do, and and uh, uh, she says, well, you can do it if you want, but uh, everyone is looking at him. No one's going to be paying any attention to you because the it's just a, such a dramatic image, this guy in that sweater. And I said, okay, you're absolutely right. We need to not uh, – he will not be wearing that sweater. So uh, he took it off and went and got a T-shirt and ripped the sleeves off and wrote uh, – wrote uh, Honky Tonk Blood, which is a movie that he was in on it, and he made his own shirt for The Tonight Show, which was pretty rock and roll as well. Yeah, that's definitely. Well, as far as, because you're going to wear, you're going to, it's going to be worn one last time, this sweater, and then I think you should auction it off on eBay, or, you know what you should do is you should, like, every video from now on, the sweater should make, like, a secret appearance, like a Where's Waldo, <laughs> where you have to, you have to find the sweater. <laughs> Or just have like a re a regular random character That's a good idea. in every video. Just wear the sweater. I don't think it should be retired, but it definitely needs to, you know, take a step back out of the out of the spotlight for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll uh, we'll share the sweater love with somebody else. <laughs> you know, if but. you want if you want to give it to me, I, I would take it. I would wear it. So, but because now it'll fit. I'm not look. sure that I look. Look how little my boobs are. That's right. I never. Looked at your boobs before, but now that you mention it, I feel the presence of lightness in the air. I, I, I think I read this that you, 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 uh, uh, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, I, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. And I have a beautiful, I ran, into a friend, I ran into a friend the other day in St. Louis who had a, who had, uh, a reduction and hers grew back. What? Yeah, I didn't know that, I didn't know that was a thing, but, uh, um, yeah, yeah about six I, think, years later, I I think if you gain weight, they're still gonna you know that's where it goes on on. But I'm not. I don't care if I never eat again or if I just have to eat lettuce and Advocare Spark drinks. I'm never getting them to grow back again. I don't care. Like they're gone forever, and I will <laughs> forever live because I don't want to have to go back to wearing so just, bras from a box. 
Yeah. So do you just like skip around the office now? And oh, it's, and, it's uh, amazing. I mean, I'm even like I'm bandaged up and I'm wearing like a surgical thing, but uh, I feel like I've lost thirty pounds. Actually, I lost a Coke can out of each side. So I mean, think about how you know it is very uh, light. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, good for you. <laughs> this interview is going nowhere, and they're uh, kicking me out of here. But I'll, I'll definitely. I'm happy uh, we're selling some tickets right now. This is uh, <laughs> great fired. crew. Come and see Hayes Carl and Rita's new Franken boobs because of this, because of the uh, scars. But they are much smaller, and uh, they definitely will be making appearance. As well as my big Trisha's hat. I got a big hat, so I look like a Trisha yeah. because now everybody's going to think I'm a Trisha because my boobs are small, and I'm going to have a sundress. It's a whole thing. I can't wait. So everybody come on out to yeah, the group. group. It's going to be a blast. This will be my third year out of four years that he's thrown it to play Grit and Groove. And, uh, yeah, it's just always – it's the coolest festival around. I um, agree. It's going to um, be fun. I'm looking forward to getting back out there and, and seeing all these great bands and seeing Mr. Hubbard and his hot wife. <laughs> and his hot wife. She'll really appreciate that one. So. All right, I'm going to let you go. But, again, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed your laundry, and I hope you have a good show tonight in Iowa. Yeah, thank you, Rita. Tell Iowa I said what's up. Oh, will do. <laughs> Bye. Adios.